we developed a nanotechnological tool for uh, delivering CRISPR elements into cells for gene editing. CRISPR is a technology for um, uh, manipulating or editing genes inside cell and therefore this technology um, uh, has the potential to cure uh, thousands of uh, human genetic diseases. CRISPR is composed of two elements. It has a protein called Cas9 and a RNA molecule called guide RNA. And so this CRISPR complex actually originally comes from uh, bacteria. And therefore, um, in order to cure any genetic diseases, you have to actually deliver the CRISPR element into our own cells. But CRISPR is a huge complex and it must cross through the cell membrane and eventually get to the cell nucleus to do any sort of gene editing. Right now, one problem with uh, delivered CRISPR is that uh, the CRISPR element actually get trapped in a cellular compartment called endosomes. Um, so to overcome that problem, um, we um, uh, invented a new technology uh, that allows delivering the CRISPR element directly into the cell cytosol and eventually it actually moves to the cell nucleus. In our technology, we uh, first engineered the Cas9 protein by inserting a long glutamic acid tail into one end of the protein. Uh, we also engineered uh, the nanoparticles, the carrier nanoparticles, and um, when we mix this engineered Cas9 protein, guide RNA, and the nanoparticle together, uh, so we made uh, large uh, assemblies, nano assemblies, and these nano assemblies can now get fused to cell membrane and directly release the the Cas9 protein and the guide RNA into the cell cytosol, which eventually get delivered into the cell nucleus. Using our technology, we achieve uh, very high gene editing efficiencies. We are also able to track the movement of Cas9 protein, uh, which can be very useful technology for uh, imaging genome or chromosomal dynamics inside a cell. Okay, what we have here, we think, is the best way to get CRISPR system to work in cells. There's a lot of directions we can take it. We're, we're going on some of them on our own, including uh, bringing it into animals and looking at it as a way to edit various uh, mechanisms and to cure genetic disease. We're also working with partners on bringing this system into a wide variety of areas, including the agricultural community and the uh, cell testing community. So by look at it, at, at this point, what we have is, is a really sort of neat way that we can take the whole idea of uh, nanotechnology bring it into bring it into the uh, biological world and how are we can how are we doing that We're doing that through chemistry so we are using this technology to edit uh, immune cells like uh, macrophages for cancer immunotherapy I'm using this technology to edit the gene of immune cells inside of the bodies for curing immunological disorder these diseases are caused by abnormal immune response and result in chronic inflammation or tissue injury. I'm using this CRISPR delivery technology to cure a genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. CF is a disease caused by point mutations in a gene and it can often be fatal, so being able to correct those mutations is vital to treatment. Beyond gene editing, we used our technology to deliver lots of different proteins, including therapeutic proteins for curing uh, certain diseases. Uh, we also delivered uh, imaging protein to track uh, protein movement inside a cell, and that can be, again, very powerful technology for uh, understanding uh, basic cell biology. Mm -hmm.